The first quarter, 2022, what an awful quarter with the war in Russia and Ukraine. And so much trouble in trading and the markets, basically. And what a big challenge for us, for traders like us. But as uh, I used to say with this family, with this uh, incredible uh, admirals community, we can handle these challenges too. And I'm really happy that we can do this every morning, Monday to Friday, right? Uh, 8.30, right before the markets open. And therefore, my thanks goes to Admirals and Nestia. Thank you that you do this every morning for us. So I hope you're doing good. I'm just a little bit better today. I'm handling this virus. I hope two, three days next week. I hope that I fully recovered and let's see. So, but thanks for all your wishes. And it helps, by the way, it helped. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit better today. So let's go through the markets. And uh, thanks that you spend your precious lifetime with me every morning. So we stream this show on YouTube at the same time. So you can find, find a button in the right corner. You can subscribe this channel. You can give us a like. If you want, you can leave a comment right now in the chat. And I can see here all two election. Good morning, Marcus. I've seen Sigurds. One of a good morning, Bladen. I'm really happy to have you here. So let me uh, share my screen. And here is the chat from Admirals 2 here on Zoom. So who is with me on Zoom? Kurt, good morning. Chesing, Karel, Raina. Tina, Igoris, good morning. Jens, Petya, good morning. Hartmut, Lisa, Magdolna, greetings to Angaria. Good morning. So the top instruments of Admirals are Bitcoin, DAX40, Dow Jones, EURUSD, and gold. And we have a couple of trades open in those top instruments because lightning fast execution, low spreads, and a toolkit for active day trading. For example, uh, you can uh, Stereo Trader, you can use Stereo Trader. It's an additional program for MetaTrader 5 and for 2. So let's go to the analytics and let's see uh, the upcoming events for today. <clears throat> so first on this site, admiralmarkets.com slash analytics, you will find all this very important topics and news um, made available from the team of admirals of course so yesterday came out richmond pandora quit jewelry trade group over russia stands um, and the upcoming events for today uh, today is thursday so china is already over with uh, the numbers uk also and uh, from Europe onion, we expect unemployment rate today at 11 o'clock. Previous one is 6.8. The forecast is 6.7. Let's see if we get a surprise. GDP of Canada this afternoon, 2.30. And our US weekly export sales, 2.30. And the gas storage report, 2.30 also. That's the top news. So be careful if you are if you make day trading in a kind of British pound or especially in the markets, then you should be aware about the date and the time of this announcement because you know we have most of the times we have a higher volatility around this time. The number is for me as a private trader not really important because it's kind of interpretation. Uh, otherwise, there wouldn't be a trade because, you know, trade is just is based on buyers and sellers. And therefore, every news is a kind of interpretation. The news is written by an author or by a government, something like this, and just an information. But people and traders interpret those information and therefore buying and selling. Yeah? Um, if they were an ultimate, an ultimate character of any news, then think in a logical way, everybody would see the same and would interpret the same. And then everybody would either sell or buy, but then we couldn't trade. 
So this is logic. Think about it. It's interesting. Really, really interesting. Deep, deep stuff in the morning. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go to the charts. No, not yet. <laughs> Telegram. I want to invite you to our Telegram channel. Admirals, here you're well informed. 740 subscribers now. We are increasing the numbers. You have a lot of interesting look. Now you can effort to buy, which means you can uh, share. You can buy shares in the fractal part. Jens was talking about in a webinar two weeks ago, I guess. So you see you have a lot of interesting content here. In case you're more fan of Twitter and you have Twitter running on your account on your screen, then Admirals Global here and the Day Trader 70 is my name there. Should you be interested on in more logical trading, then I invite you to my free online training and the um, trading with logic course here on my homepage, dowhow-trading.com. So let's go to the charts. And we start with the DEX 40 uh, kind of orientation first. We were really expensive in the price by one contract. And basically, we are on the way down to the point of control. And now it's really interesting. Look what happens for the moment. Uh, you can see by this uh, correction here, you see this volume. So this price is really interesting. And uh, you see they increasing the volume there by remaining with the price at this zone, 15,620 euros around about. But it's quite far away from the current point of control, which is still uh, 14,310 euros by one future contract. So therefore, be careful with uh, your trading. So what I am doing is, uh, I had a long, a short, sorry, a long, a short position yesterday. And, you know, we opened a position in the second trend arm. Then the price went down. So I trailed the stop a bit. And this morning I closed my short position with a 60 pips profit roundabout. And then I opened in a second trend arm because we had a trend break. And then I opened the trade to the long, to the long side. It's the second trend arm. So just the duty to open the trade there because we had a correction deeper 38. Balance candles entry with a stop buy order. And now price is circling and I can see, okay, nah, it's not really working for me. So therefore I trailed my stop closer and I cut the loss. And the moment I have a loss, I set a pending order at the same point again in case that the price will continue to the upper side. Actually, there is no short position or short trend for the moment. So that's, we have to wait. So uh, there come a question this morning up. Um, what do you think about trend following and swap fees? Um, the moment, um, that's a really interesting question. So thanks for this. Swap fees, you know, you have to pay the swap fees if you are if you hold currencies uh, overnight. Then you have to pay the difference between the two currencies about the rate. Um, in my decision, trend following keeps these numbers in balance. And by the way, if you trade long enough with this system, trend following over the years. It keeps in balance. Sometimes you have to pay. Sometimes you get something. Sometimes you have to pay. Sometimes you have to get something. Yeah. And this is how it works. In my opinion, over the last 20 years, it was not so much what I have to pay. Um, to be honest, it was in balance. Yeah. And if you make trend following and you have the big winners, who cares about the cost? Just my private opinion. Figure it out by yourself if you want. Okay, Ute, good morning. Daniel, Pitar, good morning. Simeon, Jenny, Mihai, good morning. Pitar, thanks for your recommendation. Peter said, trading with Logic Masterclass, a course that each trader should take, I recommend. Peter, thank you very, very much. I'm really happy that you master this course. So in DAX, I guess we will get out here right now. Now we are out. And uh, it's just my uh, point that 
Um, I will set a pending order again in case the trend will continue. If we break the trend here on this line at the last point three, okay, then I guess we have a new downtrend and then we have to speculate on the short side, but actually just wait. Okay, we can go to our uh, top instruments and we start with uh, DAX 40 in four hourly chart. And <clears throat> it's still an uptrend, nothing changed. And it's another proof of wonderful trend following system, you know? So, and the trend will break here. That's the last point three, that's point two. And there's the point of control, 15,723. And I'm quite sure that we will reach this point unless the market decide to swift this point to another price, but this is not happening right now. Huh? Uh, what was your site with free training again, please? Uh, this is here just on my homepage. Uh, Dauhau minus trading.com. There you hear some fun and free online training. There is a couple of uh, just videos where you can learn something a little, but it's not the same like the online course. And uh, I know <laughs> it's, it's just you can do whatever you want, but I know this. But it's really interesting. Um, all of us, we are willing to pay a lot of money and time, by the way, to learn a proper job like an, an like a surgery like a, um, a pilot like a, a, a lawyer something like this you get a lot of money to learn a proper job over the time but it's really interesting if it comes to trading oh me the same years ago when it comes to trading it's interesting we are not willing to pay money for education now you're the happy guy because you have this morning briefing show. You have a wonderful broker like Admirals, a lot of content. But let me show you something. Despite we have this limitless, priceless, and free of charge content, 78% of retail traders lose money. Even we have limitless content. And we have this morning briefing show. Why do you think is it so? And why is it so different that we are willing and that we pay a lot of money for our kids to send them to the university to get a really, really good, a really, cool, really cool job? Pay a lot of money. But if it comes to trading, no. Why should I pay money for education? No, I give it to the market by try and error. This is what we are doing. And at the end, you spend much more money to the market by figure out what never works in trading instead of put a little bit money and put it in your education. Why is it so? It's an interesting question. I did the same, by the way, in the past. You should think about it. Yeah? It's really, really interesting. So let's go to Dow Jones. And you know, Justin, thought for your, uh, food for your thoughts. Dow Jones. Still in a trend also. There was a trend, move correction, move correction, and move correction. One, two, three, four. And trend will break here. That's the last point three. That's point two. Little bit correction. Yeah, we are in the fair price zone. There is a that's quite a high volume zone, but not so like the point of control. But here is the point of high, and maybe this could be pull the price a little bit. Yeah. So um, this is Dow Jones. Actually, there's nothing to do for me. So now Bitcoin. And in Bitcoin, we have still an open trade. And as I said, we are circling around the point of control. Yeah. So there is nothing to do for the moment. And then we have Euro USD. And in EURUSD, we have a lovely new trade, a new top high. Trade, stop loss is in profit. We are 152 pips in profit. That's really cool. 
and you know point of control is on the upper side. And finally, gold. Um, we had two losses. First, it was a long, second trend arm, too long. I cut the loss. Then at the same time, it looks like that the downtrend will continue. Unfortunately, there was no trend continuation. The price were recovering yesterday. So I trailed my stop loss immediately and I got out with another small uh, uh, loss. But now there is no downtrend. Uh, there is no uptrend anymore, but there is a downtrend. And there are two downtrends. Look, the main trend is facing upwards, uh, downwards, sorry. And there is a secondary. Look at this one, this. And now we have two downtrends in the same direction. Therefore, I set a pending order here. In case the trend will continue, then I want to be a part of it. It's the second trend arm, and this is my duty. Yeah. Okay, this is what we can do here. Okay, so that's the top instruments, by the way. So now we come to our questions, uh, to your questions first. Uh, yes, we can take a look. British pound is a running trade. And we can have a look at the oil price. Sure. In oil price, nothing changed for the moment. Um, it's still a downtrend. Now we have a downtrend in oil. It's WTI, by the way. And one and two and three. Yeah, you can still speculating on the trend continuation. Point of control is quite far away. Yeah, this is, uh, and Brent is almost the same, I guess. Brent is almost the same, yeah. Same trend, point of control is quite far away. So basically it's more short. So there comes a question about NASDAQ, 10 minutes, of course. Let's see, let's take 10 minutes. So, mm -hmm. okay, there we are. Mm, price is quite expensive for the moment. It's resting, look at this one. The point of control is here on the lower side, 14,655. Uh, but you can see, okay, there they increasing the volume here which means I guess the market is quite fair at this price. So, but as long as they don't swift the price to the upper side, the point of control, we have to assume that the price will go down. Okay, what's the trend? You know, rules are the most important thing. So um, let's see, where comes the price from? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's the trend, downtrend, 10 minutes, bam. Basically, second trend on. On the right side, we have an uptrend. It's this one, also in the second trend on, circling around the point of high. And a little bit on the another right side is this one. So... Now we have three trends, three, three trends in the second trend arm. Okay, so what we can do, hmm, to be honest, nothing, not really. Uh, what you can do is to um, set two orders in case that the trend will continue to the upper side, that the downtrend, the uptrend will continue. You can set the pending order here, for example. And at the same time, in case that the downtrend will continue, you can set a pending order here to the short side. So thanks God, in, in MetaTrader, you can make hatching on two positions, but it's two trend arms. So two trends are facing downwards, one is upwards, so be, be prepared on both sides. This is what I, wanna, what I would do. So Euro Norwegian Krone. Wow. Such things, such currencies, I would never trade in four hourly chart. But who am I? Euro and okay. Okay. Euro and okay. Okay. It's 
too. So like such exotic currencies, I used to trade in weekly chart. But Yeah, this is not the reason that your son is living there. <laughs> I guess you cannot type this in the other book, <laughs> that this is important for you, but not for the market. Uh, you have to see, you have to uh, see about the liquidity in the market. Yeah, and in Euro, Norwegian Krone is, um, but whatever, you can do whatever you want. Okay, um, it's interesting. So first of all, we are really cheap in the price. Point of control is here up. So the direction is clear, it's long, of course. And then we have indeed the second trend arm. Yeah, second trend arm. So maybe to speculate on a break here and final direction point of control. Could be interesting. Yes, perfect. Exactly, less liquidity in the market. Euro New Wigan Krone is a kind of exotic pair. It's not a major pair, it's not a minor pair, it's a no, it's a current, it's a um exotic pair, less liquidity. So it could be any news, unexpected news, something like this. You have big move up and down. So just have a look at this. Look what happens here, just up and down, up and down. So, and this is really, it's a, of course, we will always see a trend because it's movement, correction up and down, of course, but it's less liquidity, yeah? So this you should, uh, ha you should have in your mind. So this could be at any time, yeah? Any time uh, you have a big spike and then you are out. But uh, for a trend, as an example, it's really interesting. That's a kind of perfect example it's the main trend is facing downwards, but the correction is starting with a new trend. So, but what you miss here is a balance candle, but changing of the color is the same signal. So entry at the point two and speculating over trend continuation. Yeah. So that's the point. So let's go to the running trades. And before we do this, I have the question of the day. So uh, there's a question. What do you mean when you said, think about where trading starts and ends? Yeah, there is a, for example, let, uh, first of all, Raymond, I come back to you. So the question of the day, do you know the strategy of the turtle traders? So, and you know, this is the week of the turtle traders. Yeah, I do. I know I don't. So that's the question for today. And I come back to the question of Raymond. So he's asking, uh, uh, what's about where trading and uh, starts and ends? Okay, follow my follow my thoughts. You see something in the chart, or you hear something news, something like this, and you make a decision to go long or short. So now go deeper. You don't. What does it mean? I go long or short? Is it long? Is it short? What is it? What does that mean? You go long or short. You know, that's the trick of the market to confuse the unexperienced people. That you will never think about the logic of trading. The market does not want that, that you think about the logic. Because the market is calculating about your unexperienced uh, emotional behavior. That you do stupid things in the market because the institution money takes the money from you. So go deeper. What does it mean if you say I go long or short? Now it's it's easy. You buy or you sell. So if you buy something, then you need someone who sells you the thing. And if you sell something, you need a buyer. Okay, that's the first point. But where does this happen? In the chart? No. The chart is just the legacy of that where it happens in real. So where does it happen? So what do you do? The moment you decide to buy or to sell something, what do you do? Yeah, of course, it's easy. You order, you open this, uh, this display, you put in the product you want to buy or sell, then the price where you want to buy or sell, and the value, 
how many contracts or lots you want to buy or sell. And what do you do then? Then you click on send. And what happens next? Yeah, you send it to Admirals, to your broker. And what happens then? You just, the Admirals is just your broker. And your broker send it to the exchange. And what happens there? This is what happens in the order book. This is happening here. And this is your order book. And there is your price and uh, contracts. And there starts your trade. And there ends trading. But in the moment when the exchange brought buyers and sellers together, trading is over. There is the job is done. What you see afterwards is just on you. What you, see, if you, what you do with the numbers, the order book, is just your, it's just your perception. It's your decision. If you make candles, if you make lines, if you make a uh, heikinashi, if you uh, show it up in, uh, in, in Renko charts, something like this, who cares? No one cares. In the order book, even in the Forex market, just you don't see how many, but there is the order book. And there starts your trade, not in the chart. It's just the legacy of that numbers. And there ends trading also, because that's the top job of the exchange. Buyers and sellers bring in together. And if the selling and the buying is over, then trading is over. The rest is made by you. And this is what I try to explain when I say in the order book, there starts and ends your trade. What you see here in the chart is just a legacy of the numbers of the order book. That's not real trading. That's kind of perception. Because this is just what you see or what we see right now. But maybe the next trader in Frankfurt example does not have this chart in front. He has a line, maybe, or Renko, or normal candles, or whatever. Who cares? No one cares. How do you express or picture it out, the numbers of the order book? No one. You can do whatever you want. Even you can, whatever, you can draw whatever you want. Small kitties, puppies, whatever. Yeah? So, Willie... I guess you have to a little be patient, please, okay? And if it's not fast for you, please leave it. It's, chill. it's quite annoying. It's really quite annoying, yeah? So it's more important that I tell people about education that they fulfill your wishes. So be quiet, please. It's really annoying, really. And of course, you get a lot of priceless content. And I know you're living really close to me, but this is really... Really, really rude from you. Really. And that makes me really angry. So go out. Leave my office right now. So education is more important than your stupid new trading ideas. Really. Such rude. Really. So let's go to the running trades. Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Oh, we are in profit. Uh, the trade starts and we talked about yesterday. And you know, that's the second trend on. Point of control is on the lower side. And we open the trade. And the point of, no, the stop loss is above the last point three. So let's see what we can do and how far the trend will go. We are trend followers. Let's see. Australian dollar, Swiss franc. We closed the trade with a wonderful profit, really huge profit. That's trend following. And now we are done. We had a close below my purple line. And I traded the stop after we had a close below my purple line, the soft stop, and I'm out. That's really cool. So now we have a downtrend on the right side, but this is in the move. And I guess it's something... Um, I guess it's something for tomorrow, maybe. Bitcoin, we talked about Canadian dollars with Frank. Uh, yes, we are coming closer to our soft stop. 
And by the way, be careful, there is a new downtrend, a corrective character for the moment, but we are on the move, but we should keep it in mind. Euro Japanese yen, just on the top. Euro New Zealand dollar, we opened the trade, we talked about yesterday, I explained, and now we are up to the last point too. Euro US dollar, it's fine. British pound US dollar, we're circling around. Gold, we talked about. New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, and you up. Nothing to do. New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc. Yeah, we're coming close to the last point three. Not yet a downtrend, not yet. And US dollar, Japanese yen, yeah, I guess it's coming to the end this trade. I guess it's coming to an end. And our share, Merck, for the moment, I have forgotten, but I guess you're in. And as I said, it's a good idea to take the move, trail the stop loss, maybe bar by bar to save your money. And if finally, if we have a trend continuation, then you can trail maybe your stop loss into the profit, by the way. What's about coffee? Uh, coffee is going up again. We don't have an open position. You see new balance candles. Mm, I guess we can actually, we can delete the order. And uh, when the market is open, you can delete the order again because we are waiting for the next uh, move to the lower side. And uh, there's just one proposal, Euro Swiss franc. Uh, we talked about yesterday. Now we have a correction deeper than 38. There was the balance candle. So I set a pending order in case that the price will go up and then it's going up. So the question of today was, do you know the strategy of the turtle traders? Uh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Are you interesting? Are you interested? I will explain tomorrow. If you want to know the turtle trader strategy, it's time to visit and to join the session tomorrow again. Thanks for listening. And think about a little bit more respect about each other and about me and about admirals. Maybe you can think about it. In this case, have courage and be kind. And may